We've just arrived at Apartment Miso. It is such a fabulous space. I can't wait to introduce you to Chris and Sophia and you can get to know everything behind Apartment Miso. It's so great to be here with Chris and Sophia. Sophia, firstly, I'd love to get to know, where did your love for food come from? Uh, I mean, it's the only thing I've ever done. I've, I've been a cook for 14 years. The way that I feel about food is kind of like, it's, it's fashion that you eat. Yeah. I, I have a kind of provocative way that I feel about food. I love the sensory of not just the experience of cooking it, but like watching someone eat my food. Yeah. It's a really, really special experience. I noticed that you recently went to the Met Gala. I did go to the Met Gala. <laughs> that did. That was crazy. It was, you know, the funny thing about the Met Gala is that mm -hmm. it was my very first red carpet. So I don't I know that much. That. Okay, I don't know okay. if people can say that the first time they're on a red carpet was the That's Met Gala. Big. You're just around yeah. people that you really never thought you'd be around, and you realize, like, oh my God, they're just regular people just like you, which is pretty sick. Was there many chefs there? Was yeah. So I was okay. one of ten. So it was okay. the first time that. Food was really centered with fashion. Food and fashion absolutely intersect. They always have. Yeah. Food, fashion, sex, pleasure, intimacy, yeah. eating, all of that stuff is so deeply connected. You guys were like, right, I want to transform this. I want to find a color mm -hmm. that can represent my brand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why were you mostly drawn to this blue color? We kind of went through quite a few different blues. Like we were sent samples and this one, I love the most because it really reminds me of my partner's eyes. Oh my god, I love the best that. eyes in the world. No, you didn't know that. Sorry, babe. But I just think I just I just love his eyes so much, and it's really yeah. interesting. It's kind of like he, he had this really great example when you buy a new car, yeah. then you start to see that car everywhere. I didn't actually realize how much of this blue exists in my life. I was looking around as soon as I walked in, I was like, "You've got I my mixer everywhere." And here's mixer. the funny story with my mixer. Okay, so like yeah. the mixer, we didn't even realize that it was going to color match like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, like jumpsuits, earrings, like I, that that color really comes up a lot. So when we spoke, you were saying like you do a lot of filming. In we here, do. and you really wanted something that, if you, when you're filming and it's and it goes live, you want someone to be like, okay, that's a Parma Miso. Oh, totally. And this stripe behind us, which yeah. is bold, like yeah. it's really cool, it's very creative. Totally. But it is like it's an identity piece almost. It is. We really respect, like she said, the visual aspect of food. Yeah. yeah. Seeing it, creating it, eating it. It's more than just eating it. So yeah. I think we wanted the same with. The, the paint job. Yeah. yeah. Like this visual experience that took you on a journey around the room. So when we were on our consultation, your first thing that we picked up on was this beautiful painting, mm -hmm. which is in the blue. Yeah. Is that a picture that means a lot to you guys or? It's really, so the painting is by Ann Harper. She's from okay. Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. We actually had the painting that's over there right here. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? Yes. And so there's something about this wall that we really love. I, just this big, huge white wall. Also, this is typically for the frame yes. where I stand. And so no matter what we were shooting, you were always gonna kind of see that blue. So before we had the stripe, that was kind of our signature. That was yeah. my signature blue-eyed, <laughs> beautiful yeah. thing. Yes. And we have everything you could need to make absolutely everything in this space, which is my dream. Essentially, Apartment yeah. Miso is my dream kitchen. Like if I could design a kitchen that's my dream, this, this is, is what it is. Yeah. It, there is no couch. We didn't have the conversation of like seating and tables. Like it, yes, it's that's lit. what's unique about the space, isn't it? It's, Everything it's in here it. is meant to be. What's really interesting, I'm looking around the room and we've got such an original sense of beauty through all of like the almost not dying, but I mean, it's no, it's there. There, those are dead flowers. Um, but I, again, I think we look at a rose only as it's most beautiful when it's just perfect and beautiful and open. And yeah. I don't know, it's kind of like really looking at things completely mm -hmm. non-linear. Like I find beauty not in a straight line. I love that. Is this how Apartment Miso came about? Like who came up with the name by the way? The name is a really funny story actually. Okay. Because I think people think it's like, oh it's really thought about and it's really intense. <laughs> I mean there's a lot of history in the yeah. game, I feel like, but the way it happened was very <laughs> just I called her one day and I was like, hey, what's your number one ingredient that you can't live without. And I was standing in the middle of the room this. when yeah. we decided what this place was gonna be for us. Yeah. And she said, miso. Easy. And I went on and I was like, 
a part of Miso. It was like days had gone by. Yeah. So then he presents me this like Instagram and this oh, idea wow. and this concept and yeah. like a part of Miso and I'm like, oh my God, the name is so perfect. And like, he's like, yeah, remember when I called you? <laughs> and I'm like, wait, wait. That's how we decided like- genius idea, like, bad. That's genius. how we decided the yeah. name of like our culinary studio, which by the way, the, the idea of this place is really to just visually capture what I do every day anyway. Yes. Right, so like that's the whole concept. And what do you it. do every day in here? I cook everything. Yeah. Everything that there is to cook. Sometimes uh, it's sauces, sometimes it's loaves of bread, dough, yeah. anything you can imagine. Like, I mean, we, it's basically a professional kitchen. So how do you guys find working together? Just, I think it's perfect. Oh. I think it's I think it's great because even if we do have a thing mm -hmm. or a conflict, it, we're really good at keeping it here because this is the place that we work. Yeah. So sometimes he's shooting and I'm like, I hate that angle. <laughs> or I'm like, you need to shoot from under or the light. Or or yeah, I'm yeah. so focused on cooking, he'll be yeah. like, can you do that again? I'm like, uh, no, I'm literally making mayonnaise. I cannot do that again. It's also like. My job here is to document everything. Yeah. So yeah. like, although sometimes I have ideas, at the end of the day, she makes what she makes, and I make. <laughs> yes, <what> chef. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's kind of that. Like at the end of the day, <laughs> it's doesn't, like she doesn't really comment yeah. or decide what I make. No. She, I Same for me. Oh, I love that. She, That's yeah. a beautiful dynamic. Yeah. Isn't so it? I let him like decorate a thing, and even if I don't love it, I understand what's happening there, yeah. and also like just respectful to the space and respectful to like his position cool. and his eyes in the same way he's gonna be like why that did you plate delicious. that current tart like that yeah. I'm like cuz I <laughs> what? like I, he's not gonna you know what I mean yeah. like we're really really good like I said everything in the space is here for a reason and so because of that that kind of eradicates all the conflict yeah you know what I mean we just yeah. we're pretty in alignment I think we're also very untraditional people in like, general the way I film is pretty untraditional <gasps> Plates, cooks is pretty untraditional. I mean, he will strap a camera to the ceiling fan and then turn the ceiling fan on. Yeah, I've he, seen this. I've seen oh, some like, oh, there'll be a handstand or something. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> like there, we do things really. He'll put cameras in hot bowls of liquid and get. Oh, he, he's just really good. It's at, such a gorgeous creative space. Yes, isn't it? Somewhere. Yeah. So because he does such amazing stuff, yeah. it's really not up to me to be like, hey. Why'd you do that? I might even have a problem with it, but then I see it in a way, put it together, and I'm like, all right, it's great. It's perfect, you're a genius. Guys, thank you so much for having us and feeding us. Oh my gosh, of course. Um, I cannot wait to see more of what amazing creative stuff that you come up with on Apartment Me, so thank you. Oh my God, you're so welcome. Anytime you want to come eat, just come by. Oh, we will do. <laughs> <laughs>